as an effort to standardize the test. I used a magazine that was over half an inch in thickness and uh, I tried it using both lights. And the first cut with the Ontario it went right through and uh, on the second one it went about 70%. On the third cut, it went well over the 50%. When I changed into the Meyer cut, I only got like 40% at most. And then I started trying to cut the edge of the magazine. And it's actually uh, the strongest part of it. It won't let the blade bounce, so it will give me a very accurate way of uh, measure of the power of the blade. When I tried the Marico, it made like a 40%. But when I did the second cut with the Ontario, it went right through the whole magazine. I tried it again with the Marco and again I couldn't get more than 30 or 40 percent. With the board you can see how deep the Ontario one bites it actually gets stuck from time to time in the in the board and um, I believe it went through in eight cuts the Ontario felt a lot lighter and I thought that would be an advantage but it didn't because because the actually the blade felt lighter than the one in the in the Ontario which it was unusual for me being a blade so thick and uh, as you can see it goes through once I got the technique right But it did it, it did it in something like 14 cuts. And so it's actually almost uh, as twice as what I had to do with the Ontario. I think the Ontario machete performed a lot better than the Marco. But probably it is because it, it doesn't come very well sharpened from factory. I just um, make a pass through with a field sharpener on the, on the Ontario machete. And what I like about the Marco is that it only didn't have any chipping. That was a very hard wood. But the finishing on the blade is surprisingly standard. So far I like the specs of the Marco better. But the performance turned out to be better for the Ontario.